Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Claudia and today is very exciting. Something all of us Apple users have been waiting for, the new iOS update is here and it includes an option to edit sent text messages as well as unsend them, which might save us all a lot of embarrassing moments moving forward. So I'll be showing you how that works and five other important iOS 16 updates. I'll have a list of what I'll be covering in the description box and their timestamps. If you're looking for something specific, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and find it helpful and let's get started. All right, so you obviously have to update your phone in order to do this. So go to your settings, general, software update, and see if you have iOS 16. And if not, you'll wanna do the upgrade now. I do have a disclaimer to add to this because of course it's Apple. This feature isn't perfect by any means. It only works for messages sent to people who have also updated their phone to the iOS 16 update. So you obviously most likely aren't going to know who has it and who doesn't. So I don't anticipate this being a widespread standard feature for honestly years to come. Just FYI, but you can still give it a try if you send something you want to unsend and maybe you'll be lucky. So you have to be sending it to an Apple user with iOS 16 and there are also time limitations to be aware of. You have two minutes to decide to unsend a message and 15 minutes to decide if you want to edit a message. So here's how you do it. If you send a text message with the blue arrow and you hold it down once it's sent, you have all these options. So we're gonna click edit and as you can see, you can edit the message and then click the blue check mark and it will say the message is edited. You can also hold it down and click undo send. And as you can see, it will disappear. And the person will also get a notification that a message was unsent. You can also mark messages as unread. Finally, this is something I desperately have needed. So you can just hold down a message and click mark as unread and the blue bubble will return. You can also swipe it to the right and click here. And there will now also be a recently deleted folder for messages if you accidentally deleted a message that you needed and you want to get back. Next up, I wanna talk about how to edit your home screens because this is actually a very cool new feature. With your phone unlocked, if you hold down the home screen, you'll see this to edit or add new backgrounds. If you click on the date, you can change to a different widget if you click on the time, you can actually change the font and the color. At the bottom here, you'll see all of these colors. And if you scroll to the end and click the color wheel, you can choose truly any color in the rainbow by just dragging around this color field. You can also select the dropper to choose a custom color that matches in a color in your image. And you can change the tone to make it lighter or darker. The bottom section is where you can add widgets. So I'm going to add a widget that tells me the battery percentage of my headphones. And when you're done, you can click done. And then you have the option to either set your wallpaper and your home screen as a pair, which is the top blue button. Or if you want your home screen to look a little different, you can click customize home screen. That'll bring you to this section here. So there are a ton of options with original. You can show the photo fully or if you tap blur, it'll be blurred. You can choose different colors. And then if you click on the plus sign within the color circle, you can again choose a color and customize it with the color wheel in the upper left corner of this box. You can choose a gradient and similar thing. You can click the plus sign and adjust the gradient or you can choose a new photo for your home screen and then when you're done you'll just click done here I'm just going to use the blur option then when you're done you can just click on the home screen that you want to use and it will bring you back to your home screen I quickly now want to show you all the other options you can do if you want to add a new home screen if you have an Apple watch this may look a little bit similar to you because there are just tons of options to choose from they have suggested presets, featured backgrounds, suggested photos from your camera roll, weather, emojis, collections, and colors. There are truly an unlimited amount of options. This next feature is probably my favorite and that is removing the background of an image from a subject in an image. 
So this only works with images on your camera roll, but if you open an image and hold your finger down on the subject, as you can see, now we have removed it from the background. So if you release your finger, this will pop up. You'll click copy. And now you can hold down in a text message, for example, hit paste, and you can see that it is fully removed from the background. Last but not least, for all of my people out there who use the Mail app instead of the Gmail app, it now has the options that Gmail has had for years. As you can see, you can send later, set reminders for emails you want to get back to later, and of course, undo send. So let's say you've drafted an email and you want to send it, you'll hit the blue arrow up here and here are all the send later options. You can send it at 9 o'clock, 8 a.m. tomorrow, or click send later. And you can customize an exact date. And if you click on the time, you can also customize the exact time. When you're done, just click done. And then if you hit the blue send arrow and send it off, the email will be in your drafts folder until the time it was scheduled to send. If you want to undo a send, you'll click the blue arrow to send off the message. And at the bottom here, you'll see undo send. So if you click that, it will take you back into the message so you can edit it or discard the message. To change how long the delay is for undo send, go to your settings and scroll down to mail. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see undo send delay and you can change it from 10 to 30 seconds. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video, pointing out some of the new features on iOS 16. Let me know your thoughts. Which ones are your favorites? If you have another favorite that I didn't mention, if there's something that you wish Apple updated in this iOS 16 update and they didn't, let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.